Hello everybody and welcome to the first of a kind of mini podcast that I'm going to be doing. It is called Jay Smith Drives Home From Work. So in this podcast, I'm going to be, I'm, I'm recording it from my cell phone and it is literally me driving home from work. So we'll see if that's interesting enough for for any kind of community to listen to me just rambling about whatever comes to mind. It's not going to be a play-by-play action of me driving home from work. I kind of want to do something more interesting than that. So I'll be talking about mostly probably video games, obviously, since it's on my fucking channel. But, you know, it's kind of a, a meta... Maybe it's going to be a more of a meta me talking about my channel and the videos on the channel and saving progress as a whole. So I think that's kind of the aim and the goal of this little little thing I do. But I mean, I'm doing, you know, I have a about 40 minute commute on the way home from work when it's only like 20 minutes to get there. It's bullshit because I hate the traffic. But that's really neither here nor there. But it, it kind of, okay, so I have these 40 minutes on the way home from work that I don't do anything. And the, I guess I could be doing something else, so might as well be doing something that I, en- I enjoy, which is talking to you guys and having you guys listen to the kind of stuff that I like to talk about, which is video games and being awesome. So, I suppose I'll just talk about some of the games I've been playing, some of my feelings and thoughts that you don't get to see, or that I don't think about while I'm actually playing. So, one of the games that I do really enjoy talking about is Slender. And as you guys can see from a lot of the videos that I've been putting up recently, I'm not too, I don't want to say afraid uh, to play, because I'm not, it might be fear, but it's kind of not. So the cool thing that I love about Slender is that how much I hate the feeling I get playing it, you know, that fear, that anxiety, but after you know, that day, or even two days after, I'm just thinking, man, that was so fun, or that was so interesting, I can't wait to experience that again, and so I don't play Slender day, or, you know, it'll take me a few days to get back to it, because I don't, because as soon as I'm done playing it, I, I don't want to play it again, because that, that emotion that I've been kind of going through just doesn't sit well with me in, you know, the, the hours and maybe a day afterwards so I got to take that little break but somewhere on the line I'm just like man that that was so cool that was so fun I'm gonna do it again so it's that kind of retrospect look that you have in something like fear is something that kind of you know keeps me motivated to play it after a while and I don't really get that in too many other games it's that that really deep feeling that you know, there is, like, you know, you're, you're just panicking. And it's so bizarre to have a small game like Slender be able to do that to you, you know? Like, I don't know who, I forget the developer offhand right now, but, you know, basically Relatively Unknown took something that has kind of snowballed, like, the the whole history and behind, behind Slender Man and how it kind of grew from just a screenshot thread on or something awful and just kind of snowballed to creepypasta you know on reddit and even 4chan or whatever but yeah it was just something that is able to take me through a few different stages of feelings the first being okay i'm gonna do this the second feeling probably when i get my first note I start feeling that anxiety and it just builds upon itself and so it doubles every time I get a new note because something in the background will change whether or not that's the music changing or maybe there's this new sound effect that you hear that kind of goes along and just becomes more and more intense until I finally get turned around by that big asshole and he scares the shit out of me. Oh, I can't believe that I still haven't beat it yet. I can believe it because I, there's, after every video, there's one commenter and he's, and they're always like, okay, you you did this and that's good, but 
you need to do this too. And so for the, the first videos, everyone's telling me to conserve my flashlight. And I said, okay. So I start conserving my flashlight. They say, don't turn around. So I didn't turn around. And then I, you know, I thought that was all I really needed to do. And, you know, keep, obviously keep moving was another thing that they told me. So I kept all those in mind and I did exactly that. But what happened, I still freaking lost. And lo and behold, they say, oh no, after you're not turning around for a while, you have to start turning around and, you know, catch a glimpse of them and then run when you start hearing the static. I'm just like, ah, where the hell are you guys? Where have you been all my life when I'm, you know, losing forever? And this is on, you know, the fourth video now. But, you know, maybe the next one, maybe the next one I'll finally be victorious. That's what I'm hoping for. Oh, so I guess that's enough about Slender for now. I want to maybe talk about Tower Climb, which is the other, it's my, I think it's probably my most popular video series for now. Maybe, I don't know, I guess Slender is really popular too. My Alan Wake series is that's really not being watched by too many people, but whoever is watching, thank you. I'm going to continue the series just because I want to finish the game for myself, but that's really neither here nor there. But Tower Climb is just, I'm glad, I'm really, really glad I found this game. And it's because it cha it's, it's really challenging. And I haven't had this kind of a challenge in a while. Because a lot of, I mean, there's just not too many games out there that really just put you through the gauntlet. So Super Meat Boy was probably the hardest game that, you know, it took me a while to get into and finally beat and everything. But this is just, it's, it's something else. It's something that... You know, I've been playing it for episodes and episodes, and I've only got to... I, haven't, I don't even remember the name, because I've only got there twice. But the green place after the hatchery. The observatory, or conservatory, I think it is. So, right, after, you know, playing these games. And I'm not... I don't think... I don't consider myself bad at video games by any stretch of the imagination. It's just... This game, it takes a lot of time to get used to and get a feel for. And especially going through these games and doing commentary above it, I'm always, there's always something else on my mind, you know, my mind is not 100% into it, but I'm getting better at every video. And so you can see me, I started using my Xbox 360 controller, it's X, uh, X, I don't know, I don't remember the, <laughs> I don't remember the, the title of the program, I say it, whatever it is, in episode 7 or 8, I forget. But, I'm using that because by default the game doesn't support a controller of any type so you're just kind of bound to just using the keyboard which makes it a little bit awkward at times I've never felt very comfortable using just a keyboard to play a game I always like the feel of a controller in my hand unless it's probably pretty much just first-person shooters or real-time strategy games other than that I'm pretty much just give me a controller and I'll do well. It just feels, I, I have comfort in that, I suppose. So, I've been doing that. I've been using the controller. It took me still a bit to kind of grasp all the, to get the feel for it. But when I started doing that, I finally, I made it back up to the highest point when I did before. So, it's nice and comforting to be able to do that every once in a while. Just, uh, I finally think that I've, I've got a good rhythm going forward to beat this game. So just kind of take everything slow, take it in. And don't worry so much about the commentary and just... I mean, I've got, obviously I have to work, worry about the commentary. I want to make this entertaining for you, but I also want to make it entertaining for you. Not only with words, but being able to get to the, the next stages and not die as much. But, you know, every once in a while it is. it's probably pretty nice to watch me die because... I'm an idiot a lot, and so I think that just maybe it brings in humor. Uh, I'm at, least, at least I'm hoping it brings in some sort, some form of humor. But that's, yeah, it, it's it's a challenging game, and I really enjoy the challenge too because, like I said, I, I think I'm getting better with or stronger in every video, and it's that kind of slow progression that keeps me interested in playing. So I'm gonna keep doing that for the for at least until I beat it so I think I don't there's I I've always I always want to beat the games that I play right the one that's I'm not 
a hundred percent sure I'm going to be able to do is slender but we'll see because you know the other games they're just the only thing that's keeping me from beating it is myself slender I think is just kind of an asshole just because it wants you to lose and it's kind of set up to make you lose so there's a very specific way you gotta win but you know it's all about finding that rhythm in that game I suppose as well so we'll see if I am able to finally best that and I guess that, that'll bring us to Alan Wake. So what's going on in Alan Wake? Not much right now. I'm getting behind in recording. I had a big I had a big weekend last weekend, so I had I pretty much lost a bunch of my queue because I upload every day. And so to do that, I don't have the resources or the time to record every single day. So if I do record, I'm probably just gonna sit down and play a few different games that in one night, record them all in a batch, and then upload them all to YouTube, host it as private, and then every day, every morning, I wake up and I upload something, or just make it public. And being able to do that, it allows me to have a bunch of things in my queue at once, and also allows for shitty, or pretty, actually awesome weekends with, you know, that I'm actually out doing something, or if I'm not able to record from busy one evening with work, I'm able to at least put something up for you guys. Because my... In my ideal situation, I want to have at least one video for you guys a day, and I've been consistent ever since I started uploading sometime in June, and so now it being August, that's that's kind of a good testament, I think. I'm happy and I'm really grateful for almost 2,000 subscribers or something. I think it just passed 1,700, so that's awesome. You guys are great for kind of checking me out for and doing that with me, so uh, you guys are the best. Not sure. Okay, so Alan Wake, I really got off topic there. So, Alan Wake, it's a good game. It's not a great game, and so maybe that's why a lot of people aren't watching it or aren't interested in it. And it's not scary, it's a little bit creepy at times, but I would never, I was wrong, and I think the first video I had mistakenly called it a, a horror game, but it's not. It's more of a 3D action-ish, yeah, probably action-ish, action-ish, action game with creepy elements to it. So it's not going to scare anybody, but honestly, I think people should watch it at least for the story, because it's actually pretty okay. Actually, everything about this game is just seems so mediocre, and I know we talked about this on the Saving Progress podcast, in which it was Northern Lion who mentioned that you know you don't want to play games or people don't want to watch games that are in between so people would want to watch a great game and watch you play through that and people will want to watch him play through a shitty game so he could rip on it but those games just that aren't terrible and but they aren't great they're just kind of in this weird limbo that not that limbo is a bad game that's just kind of a word that he used uh, they're in a like weird kind of situation that prevents them from being anything, really. And so they're just, I would probably consider them mainly forgettable. So, you know, the, it sucks. I mean, Alan Wake was a game that had huge, huge, tremendous hype build up before it. And I think that's probably what killed it in the end. For a game to get all that hype... Either they had to go through some pretty heavy changes at one point, I imagine, whether for the better or worse, you know, you they just didn't live up to all the... I think that guy has, like, the same shirt I did. Uh, mine's a little bit more striped. He gets to wear jeans. He's lucky. I'm, uh, I'm in business casual right now. I'm fucking rocking that shit. Oh, I hope this... My music isn't too loud in the background. I don't know. But at least you guys get to jam out to some tunes very lowly. Uh, hopefully I'm not, I don't get paid for any of this, so copyright doesn't matter to me. So, what is going on? I'm at a traffic light right now. It's red. I want to go straight. This road, it's a it's pretty much three, sometimes four lanes for turning, but it's just busy, and it gets crazier and crazier at, like, the, you know, closer to, like, 5 o'clock that you are. And so at 5.20, it sucks so much balls because there's a bunch of just different there's a mall here there's a bunch of different uh places that people work what are they in the industrial parks yeah 
So there's those around here which just take up a bunch of time and just, oh, I don't know. I don't know. Just a long, long kind of drive. I like doing this. I don't even know if this is going to go up because I've definitely, I've done this before. I have recorded myself talking in the car before and I just either didn't do anything or forgot about it or just deemed it unworthy. Oh, hey, you just want to get in my lane? That's cool, buddy. I'm going to die here. No, I'm not. Uh, that guy was mean. He just cut me off. Just, you know, shit like that comes out of nowhere. Cool. So, anyways, I talked about the games I've been playing. I talked to... I talked a little about Saving Progress podcast. I like to talk about Saving Progress. You know, it's kind of... I'm super... I consider myself super fortunate enough to know these two individuals that I'm working with. You know, Northern Line and Michael A.L. Fox. Those guys have been great. I've known Northern for probably 12 years now. How old am I? I'm turning 24. Yeah, probably around 12, 11 years. Met on some video game forums back in the day. We had a little video game website going on that we pretty much... Uh, I He brought me in on that, that he was kind of creating. But we've been friends ever since, and we kind of grew up playing Xbox Live together, being on forums together, just hanging out. And it's just... It was really awesome meeting a bunch of those guys for the first time. There was like a kind of a group of us that we all like moved from forums together and kind of built up this old website that we used to have. So I met a bunch of them at one time. And they're all obviously Canadian. So I took me and my brother, who also knows these guys. We went up to Canada. We went to Montreal when we were... 18 I think because we could drink legally there yes so that's why we went to Montreal but the craziest craziest thing about meeting your internet friends that you've known for for a while is how unawkward it was for us to hang out you know we've spent hours and hours just online chatting you know playing video games and so when you finally meet them IRL there was just no kind of awkward tension everyone was just super cool Ended up having a fucking blast that weekend. It was just, it was one of my favorite times that I've ever spent uh, with my friends, period. So just after that, I've, I think I've seen them at least once every year and a lot of times even twice, maybe three times sometimes. But right, and, and we're only getting closer as we're building this saving progress up. And when, you know, when Ryan got super popular with his whole channel and God damn, that guy, he does the world. I mean, seriously, for the amount of fans, he deserves it, honestly. Because the amount of time and effort that he puts into every one of his videos, his you know, his quality mindset that he has for himself, he doesn't, he wants to upload every day, He want, but he also wants to make those uploads quality and, you know, up to par with his own standards. And so, kudos to that guy. And kudos to Mike Fox for you know jumping in on it you know next and then for for bringing me in I I can't uh, I can't thank those guys enough so those you know those are my bros and so I you know being the least popular I don't want to say but you know the lowest yeah I guess least popular but it's not nah, I mean people probably like me I got like you know 1700 fans but I haven't been in it as long as those guys too grow my my own community outside the saving progress but you know i'm i'm happy i'm so so thrilled just being in the position i'm in right now and it just it's it's something i've always wanted to do but i've never been quite certain that i can do it but you know seeing as how much i've grown in the past two months if that you know less than maybe I've been just truly, truly humbled by, you know, the amount of awesomeness that has come, you know, pouring from fans and comments and followers, subscribers, you know, you name it, I'm happy for it. So even if, like, some little person just says, hey, Jay Smith, you're a piece of shit, that's awesome, man. Like, seriously, like, that's how, that's how you know you've, if someone, like, hates you 
and watches your video anyways or goes out of their way to like say how much they <laughs> don't care about you that's pretty pretty neat just be called out like that but you know obviously i want to satisfy <laughs> sexually no i want to make a lot of people happy i know you can't make everyone happy so it's it's cool it's cool it's completely fine with me whatever okay so i think i'm just starting to ramble on right now so i'm going to cut it right here i think and so thank you guys so much for listening to me for you know 20 minutes or so you guys are fantastic you guys are great I want to do more of these. If you have a certain topic that you want me to talk about, then certainly give me a heads up and I'll put that in, in some sort of note and keep a little card here for topics that you guys want me to answer, any questions you want me to answer, any kind of concerns, or if you want to hear any funny stories, I'll be more than happy to share if they're not too personal. I don't want to throw my whole life out there nor the lives of my friends, so I want to keep that little bit clear but I can probably tell some vague stories which might be funny so anyways you guys awesome you already follow me on YouTube if you don't yet follow me on Twitter I would say funny things every once in a while and you'll get to know when my latest videos are up it's jsmith underscore OTI follow us obviously on saving progress I'm sure a lot of my subscribers out there are fans of saving progress but if you're not logged in you know definitely register for an account at savingprogress.com talk to us on forums.savingprogress.com and that'll be that'll be it thanks guys and i will catch you next time see ya